Hey everybody, so we're going to visit our portfolio company called Bosch Robotics in San Francisco. They are doing um, EV batteries recycling with robots. It's going to be super cool. Hope you're going to have fun with us watching that. Let's go. Cool. Hey, what's up, World Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Bosch Robotics is here. Awesome. So t tell us what's, what's this about. Yeah, we are uh, doing a couple of things. Um, uh, on the one side, we are building battery solution, uh, trying to make battery more sustainable. Mm -hmm. um, we're also building uh, automation system that can help disassemble and uh, repurpose uh, batteries. Awesome. Uh, so line. this kind of area, we do some of the disassembly. Okay. Testing. We have a arm that we have been doing some of the battery pack removal, and then this is our testing area. So awesome. basically, the process is you get that thing here, then with this uh, robotical stuff, you open it up yeah. because this is steel, right? right. And then you bring and then, it here. Uh, and, and, and then after that, we'll, we'll uh, start dismantling the wire. Yeah. Right, first, the robot arm will take out the top shells. Yeah. And then we take out some of the wire, and then the robot arm will lift out some of these modules out. Right, 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 right. Yeah. And each module, they have very expensive lithium materials, right? Yeah, and not, not just lithium, there are also cobalt, like, uh, nickel. Cobalt, nickel, yes, manganese. So, so how much of that can be reused? Um, I think the co-founder of Tesla already said, right? 99% of battery no. material can be recycled. Nice. Yeah, that, that's the beauty of, of electric cars. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, but given that you have to be able to dismantle it, shred it, recycle it at reasonable cost. Right, 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 right. Okay, try. <laughs> Okay, I try. I try. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm feeling it already. Alright, so what, what battery is this? Like, what car is this? Nissan Leaf. That's, that's that after the shell opens. Oh. Jesus Christ! How, how big is that? Like, this is like half of the capacity of a typical Tesla car. This Good is one. Alright, cool. So, what is this one? In the US, there are a lot of demand for electrical appliances okay. because uh, we are moving away from natural gas. Like yeah. Now people want to replace their uh, gas cooktop or gas range with induction cooktop yeah. or uh, uh, electric heat pump or electric dryer. So but electrification yeah. is underway, like total electri electrification yeah. and hence the demand for batteries is growing. And, and the reason for the battery demand is because the, the grid, at least in the United States, wasn't built for electrification. The grid was right. built like about 100 years ago. Yeah, the yeah, electricity yeah. was invented here. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So when they first built the electrical grid, uh, it was mostly for the light bulbs. So right, that's right. why the um, the voltage in most of the residential building is 120 volt, mm. not even 240. Right, right, right. right, right and right. now all of a sudden we want to charge our EV, we want to power our heat pump, we want mm. to power our like, induction cooktop. There's just not enough uh, amperage. Uh, mm. We felt like by putting a battery, you can alleviate a lot of the strain on the electrical grid because Usually you don't cook for 10 hours, right? You right, cook for one right, hour, right, but right. during that one hour, you need a lot of power. Right. So, so the, the idea is that you can use our battery as a buffer. So when you, when you are cooking with your induction cooktop, you will draw power from the battery instead of from the, uh, uh, the grid. And then uh, at the same time, when there's a power outage, you can use the battery as uh, a backup solution. Mm. Right? So maybe we show this one here. It's yeah. like the final product. And so different uh, variants of the same product. Yeah. 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 So that's the Posh Robotics battery. Yes. And um, you call it Omni, right? Yeah. So to, to show that is um, omnipotent, meaning like it can do everything, right? right so this right, can right, be right. used to as a power booster for your induction cooktop. It can be um, a backup uh, for during a power outage. Mm. Um, and you can charge your Tesla on this. Yeah, you can charge. It's good enough. Like if there's emergency and you right, need to right, go right, to right. a shopping mall, it's a five kilowatt hour system. Mm. So if your car is like dead, dead, and there is no um, electricity from the grid, you can use this to add uh, That's probably amazing. 10, 20 miles to um, to the car. Awesome. And so, so this is like the competitor of Tesla. I'm so happy. Kind of. <laughs> Let's do it, guys. <laughs> 